Jabari, I know that y'all don't play on the road again for a couple of weeks, but the, the past few games y'all played on the road in kind of the, the tough places where you don't have a ton of Tennessee fans there, it's kind of hard to win. There have been a lot of pre-snap penalties, some issues, uh, not, not playing as fluidly as y'all want. How do you get that stuff corrected? Right. Uh, I think we, first of all, just settle in, like obviously look at the film, uh, you know, take it for what it was. And um, honestly, just that's just all us. Like it's self-inflicted wounds, something we can fix. Um, it's something that we will fix. So uh, just not looking too far behind us. But in the future, we definitely know that it's things that we can control and it's not really too much of the opponent or the, uh, the crowd. Jabbar, take us sort of behind the scenes, if you could, on Joe Milton and how he handled some of those moments in those games, his communication with you guys, trying to pick you up, or, or anything else you noticed about him during the game. Yeah, Joe, I mean, Joe, like, he didn't blink. You know what I mean? Uh, obviously, things weren't going our way, but just the swag that he has. I told him that today, like, I've never, I don't know if I played with a player with more swag or confidence. You know what I mean? So for him to just, you know, stay the same person uh, through, through thick and through thin, through adversity, man, that's all you can ask for. And I think he did a great job Saturday of leading us. And, um, you know, obviously we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but, I mean, he's doing his job. Uh, what opportunity does UTSA present to you all to get back to establishing that run game and kind of win that line of scrimmage as well? Yeah, for sure. UT, UTSA is a, a good team. I think they're uh, defending conference title uh, champions for the past two years. So they're a good team. Uh, it's about what we do at the end of the day, not so much about what they do. But we know we have uh, our work out for us. Uh, but, you know, they're a good team, so we don't want to overlook anything about them. Eric and Jabari, Coach Heupel on Monday was speaking about how some of the struggles uh, was because you couldn't leave – the play in the past, you, you let one play affect another. How difficult as a player uh, is it to leave it in the past and move on? And in turn, how difficult is it to, you know, Saturday was not fun, but how, you know, as a leader, how can you not let that affect this week? Yeah, it definitely takes some uh, experience, you know, I, I mean, say for a, young, for a young player, I know like you'll think about that one play the whole game or the whole drive, even the whole week. So it definitely takes some experience to understand like, man, it's, it's more ball out there. Like we have a long season left. You know what I mean? And one play doesn't determine the whole game. Like, it's all 11 players out there, and it's a bunch of plays to be made. So that's something that we try to preach to the guys. And, um, you know, it's a lot of new people, a lot of new faces. Uh, so that, that's just a, definitely a point of emphasis for us. Jabari, I'm, I'm sure you all didn't run the football the way that y'all wanted to on, on Saturday. Just kind of what was your perception of, of how y'all ran the football on Saturday and, and what needs to improve there? Uh, honestly, uh, the whole offense can improve uh, from top to bottom because, uh, you know, offensively or just in football in general, one person can, can mess up the whole play or just, you know, knock off the whole rhythm of the team. So if one person doesn't do their job, then, you know, it kind of falls apart. So uh, more so just looking to build collectively instead of just pointing out one, one part, you know what I mean? And I'm sure Dylan wasn't happy about not getting any action. How, how do you as an older guy and a veteran on this team kind of keep him up to, to make sure he doesn't? Dwell on it. Yeah, I guess. we all we've all been there. That's part of the game. Uh, that's how. The, sometimes that's how the game flows. Uh, but uh, Dylan, he's a leader. You know, he's a leader on his team. He knows how how it goes. He's very mature for his uh, his age. So he's not too worried. But he had a great great practice out there today. He was out there being vocal, and he was a leader today. You guys haven't been able to go at the great tempo that you have in the past. At least you, that wasn't the case on for, on Saturday. What do you see as some of those reasons why you guys haven't been able to go as fast as typically you'd like to? Yeah, we're not we're not on time. Like we we haven't been on time due to self inflicted wounds like penalties. Uh, you know, we sometimes the run game isn't going. Uh, we have to do a better job of pitching and catching. So that's just self inflicted wounds. There's nothing uh, too crazy that something we can't control. That's the beautiful part about it. So I think we'll be just fine.